That makes sense. Wait. The second one is 5%? That's insanity. Baldur's Gate is now one of my top three games of all time. First, we're gonna see a bad review. Why I hate Baldur's Gate 3. I made a pretty scathing and critical review of Baldur's Gate 3 a couple weeks ago and it's been a few weeks since I released my review and it seems like basically okay so let me actually find that review first going through the different faces and hairstyles I would say that most of the characters look very ugly and it's basically almost impossible to make a girl look good in the character creation screen and uh, I feel like this is I kind of that, disappointing but okay. and but a massive letdown considering the Pref fact preference? that this game is supposed to be a fantasy role-playing game also, guys, um, what is this? <laughs> like, this UI, I, I don't know, like, this profile character creation. How does my man have this specific one? I like, I, uh, mine is, well, pretty much what everybody is using, right? So I really don't know how does he have this specific and why is the quality absolutely booty cheeks? Okay, now I understand. It's for everybody. I mean, booty even cheeks. Street Fighter 6 has a better, more in depth, customizable character creation screen, and that's just a basic fighting game. So you can't really alter the way the face looks on a feature by feature level. You can't change yes, the shape the face, of the nose or shape the shape and everything. Of her lips you cannot change like it. that. Yeah. You can just choose from uh, several preset faces and you can choose from several hairstyles styles and choose the hair color it's a very basic character creation menu screen i believe so after making your character you get thrown onto this ship as the beginning of the game you're on this flying ship and you've got to make your way to the helm and my initial thoughts was number one why do i have to aim where my jump is it's like a point what wait 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 i don't understand that complaint why do you have to point where you you have to jump towards what this game kind of looks like Diablo 4 in the sense that it has a top-down isometric camera angle, but it doesn't feel or move like Diablo 4. So I guess you could Never say yeah, Diablo, Diablo 4, 4 you use the mouse to point and click, but you can also use a... Okay, this is all early access. Okay, that's why the game looks so much different from what I actually play. Like, Nozelle just jumped off... A place that I have never seen her jump how from. I like to play. I don't know if this game also has controller support. I didn't test it out. But that's with the mouse and keyboard. Yeah, this is all new. Like, I have ne never seen this in my life. If I had to describe this game in a few sentences, I would say, imagine if XCOM had a baby with Diablo. Who? Okay, Blow, okay. That, that name is, is weird. Like. So the combat system is turn-based, like XCOM. It's very weird because I was thinking this is going to be a hack and slash game like Diablo. But then it's turn based and you've got turns and movement points. So you move and then you attack and then you can only move or attack a limited amount of times per turn. And yeah. then the enemy takes their turn and then you just kind of whack each other until one of you dies. And it's not really a fun or engaging combat system. It works well in games like XCOM because it's like a tactical team based squad shooter game but this just feels weird it's like imagine if diablo 4 Why? was a turn-based game i have never seen any gameplay of diablo 4 so i cannot comment on that one but this style is not for you that, that's what i'm trying that's what i understand uh with this video because if you say it's weird well probably the early access like I'm, I'm gonna be honest here i have never seen in the game nothing that i'm seeing right now is actually in the in the full released uh version that we all have but the gameplay and everything is uh, still the same the jump mechanic that is beyond me i don't know where's the issue on that one i didn't like how vague the game was it didn't really tell you exactly where to go they kept telling me to go to the helm but i couldn't really see where i had to go and i kept getting lost or i kept getting stuck on the scenery and then having to click around to move maneuver around the scenery it was just a very frustrating and annoying experience to play this game Go i didn't really feel like home. the game felt fun okay is it just because it's early access because i can't critique or just point out things that this man is actually talking about because this is all early access like i don't even want to watch the full video just because uh it's out of my place to comment on this the gameplay style is still the same yes but like this part that he says that the game kept telling him to go to the helm like this part is just basically to beat these guys and then go to a certain place but and the game doesn't tell you that many times to go to the helm it literally just tells you well it's not the game but it's like the characters they tell you in total probably like three times or twice uh we need to get to the helm and when they and when you're at actually at that area they basically just tell you once or twice like maximum 
but um the game itself doesn't even tell it's the character just to interact with you to tell you like the urgency so i really don't know like i probably will just skip this video and watch the final one that he did when i played the game I just felt incredibly bored and I felt like this game has absolutely nothing interesting or unique about it. I still stand by my points and I still think it's one of the most boring it games it I've was ever played in the last Jesus, years. my guy. Basically, okay, how, how long did he play this game? Can somebody tell me? How long did he play the game? And did he actually play why I hate, you know, I'm gonna keep on It's just like a turn-based role-playing game where you got a lot of stats and you level up your character and okay yeah turn base role play game you can level up characters and all that like these are all positive quality things that everybody liked though not everybody but majority that plays get games yeah i mean that's like basically every single role playing game that's ever yeah but it's like the story also count and uh, how your stats is basically the character progression but ma majority of the things in Boulder Gate, what I like about the game is the story aspect. It's not much about the gameplay, which I also do enjoy it, but it's more the fact that I'm enjoying my gameplay towards the story, the roles of the characters, my character influence that I have, the interaction with the world that I have, the amount of things that I can do within the world that other games don't even allow me like the boundaries that i can actually go the lengths that i can go they are all count like it's not just oh the game has characters has character creation it has turn base and it has whatever what about louis and that's it and uh, it, every game has that yeah <laughs> every game does have the, these things except for the turn based you can find a game that has all the qualities of boulders gate and in your opinion can do good and why is Baldur's Gate the one that is not doing so good when it comes to these exact things? What what matters is, it's not the fact that you have the same mechanics as the other game. It's the fact that how well can you actually implement these things to an umph degree? Like, Elden Ring didn't innovate the fighting mechanic. It's still the same as every other Dark Souls-like game and everything like that. So why is Elden Ring so good then? Is it just because of those mechanics? Yeah, other games also had it. So I don't understand this argument of other games also had it. Like, are you going to mention the story? Are you going to mention any other things? Never existed. And exactly what does Baldur's Gate 3 do that is so mind-blowingly amazing? I just do not understand it. I think one of the main appearing parts of Baldur's Gate 3 is how Did you watch there's any like reviews? multiple dialogue options and you can like choose the destiny or the future of your character and there's different paths. There's also other games that do that. ways you can develop your character. But it's not... Th which that. characters you talk to and which ones you help or which ones you don't help. And I don't really feel like this is a unique setting point either. There's loads of role-playing games. Like I said, yeah. Where there's also other ones. And multiple it's endings. how this you do it, though. New, so I really don't know why Baldur's Gate 3 is getting so much hype and so many people are praising it. When I played it, it was like a very dumbed-down version of like some kind of role-playing game but it's turn-based and you got attacks and different abilities and you level up and you got attribute points my guy did you actually play the game besides the early version that's what i'm talking about besides the early version did you play the game <laughs> This is so I feel like standard and nothing new. The graphics were not even that good. They were okay for 2023, but they were In my opinion, the graphics, uh, I didn't care about the graphics, to be honest with you. Like The graphics, you, you probably can tell me better than, but I didn't care about the graphics. I just cared about the gameplay, and it was fun. So. Very impressive. And then because of the far up camera with the top down view, you can barely even see your character anyway. So you spend all this time customizing your character and all you ever see is like the top of the heads and the level design was really rubbish and I kept getting lost and stuck on the map and I couldn't tell where I was supposed to go because they don't really make it very clear. And the map- You wouldn't like Elden Ring, got it, okay. And the environment <laughs> just looked kind of boring as well. Not your style Everything of game, about the got, game it, got it, got it, got it. Incredibly bored me so much that I couldn't play it for longer than a few hours. And don't get me wrong, I love turn-based games. I play a lot of turn-based games like oh. Darkest Dungeon. I really loved that game. It was so good. I played it loads of times. Darkest Dungeon, right? Okay, I will investigate this game right away for you. You know, no bias here. Or at least I'm trying not to. This is the game. Darkest Dungeon. I think I saw this game before. But I can't comprehend what the heck is going on on my screen, so I can't even say anything. Yeah, I don't even know why I clicked on freaking Google to see Darkest Dungeon. Like, I can't comprehend what am I even looking at. So, uh, I'm just going to continue where I left off. 
times I spent more than a few hours i spent like weeks and weeks playing that game completely hooked and i was trying out all of the different classes i named my characters I actually felt kind of sad when some of my characters died i do enjoy turn-based games when it's okay. a good game like those ones i mentioned but when i played Baldur's gate 3 i don't know why i couldn't get into it because it's not that i hate turn-based games i like some but i just couldn't get into the game even though i like fantasy rpg games i loved elden ring and diablo 3 they're kind of like wait you like elden ring then why did you complain about the fact that there was no indicators for where to go? In that spectrum, it's literally just like Elden Ring. Elden Ring just throws you in and then you would just have to find out where to go. That's the same as Baldur's Gate. So I don't know why you point these, the thing that Elden Ring also has. But he likes Elden Ring, so you got a positive for me. Well, you have uh, quite a lot of positives, but um, I just believe that the game was not... <laughs> I cannot comprehend why you don't like it. Uh, well, I can comprehend it. It's fantasy RPG games in the same way. If you tell me you played the final version and you still feel the same, then okay. Baldur's Gate 3 is, but the combat mechanics are obviously different. But with Baldur's Gate 3, I don't know why I just I couldn't get into it. It was just kind of weird. It's kind of strange because you the game also just don't feels even kind know of why. janky and unpolished. It feels kind of like an indie game. Unpolished. Like maybe very indie passionate game. game lovers made it in their mum's bedroom or in their basement when they're studying at university and it's like a passion project. But I didn't really feel passion like a AAA game. Project. And also I didn't really find the romance part of the game to be very amusing. I know a lot of people think it's funny, like a big lizard man falling in love with a little tiny dwarf woman or like a little dwarf guy falling in love with a big hot elf lady that's yeah it's, i guess it's funny if you've got the mentality or the sense of humor of like a 12 year old but as a like come on my dude like you don't need to bash everybody that likes this like calm down now. grown man i didn't really find the romance stuff very interesting grown man i'm pretty sure isn't there like a lot of grown people that actually play boulders gate like this is I think majority, I won't say majority, but a big freaking majority or or not freaking old uh, young people, but hey, people just find it fun. Uh, but it's like, you, you don't need to take life that serious, my guy. Calm down. Interesting, because number one, I don't really want to get aroused. I don't want to be playing a video game and then get turned off. I don't think that's the idea as well for other people. At least it wasn't for me, okay? So it, it was just fun to do, like... And nobody's getting aroused. Well, there is people that are getting aroused for that. I, I'm not even gonna lie, but Don't that's like not even of like a wood elf and a dwarf doing it in the forest. I just kind of want to play game and have fun and get hooked on its gameplay mechanics, not um, you know have my man drive activated. So I was that's tempted to not... buy the game again because I bought it the first time, then I refunded it because it was so boring. I was kind of tempted to buy it again and try it again since it seems to be getting so much praise and everyone seems to love it and they're saying, oh, it's like the next best thing to Diablo and Elden Ring, but I just don't really see myself enjoying it. Was Diablo they really that again, good though? Obviously I can't refund it I'm again. getting a lot of negative reviews like from Diablo pounds, though. Which I don't really Maybe want to is. do. I would like to save my money. If I could feel confident that I would really enjoy the game, then yes, I would buy it again. But... I've been watching videos and it's so boring. I mean, it's boring to play and it's boring to watch. I just don't really see what is so great about this game. So unfortunately, I'm gonna stick with what I said in my review and keep the score I gave it. I think I gave it like 6.2 out of 10, which I think is fair enough for the game. 6.2 out of 10? For somebody that hates it, that's a pretty high score. So why am I watching this? <laughs> but hey, okay. I, I take it. I take it. You know what? That rating is actually good. Jesus Christ. I wasted so much time. Now we're going to be watching Boulder's Gate 3 is way too good, apparently. What's up, everybody? From this is the dark our boy Ackman. And today, I want to take you down by the river. Larian Studios has lit the internet on fire with their latest dating simulator, one that gives Super Seducer a run for its money. We are comparing these two games. And it's now the highest rated PC game on Metacritic ever. There's a lot of games. What? Rated PC game on Metacritic. The highest rated ever. PC game of all time? There's a lot of games on PC. It has taken one of all the top time. 10 spots for That's most crazy. concurrent players on Steam. On August 6th, apparently the game accounted for 28% of total player time on Steam. You know what? That makes sense. Wait. 
The second one is 5%? That's insanity. The second one is 5%? No. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, that, that that's insanity right there. Like, if I were to show you guys how many hours, I'm not going to show you, but I will tell you. Baldur's Gate is my most played game in my entire Steam. And compared to Elden Ring, I think Elden Ring and uh, actually, no, I forgot that I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters Online. Okay, Baldur's Gate is not the highest hour. <laughs> I forgot I play, I play Master Duels. Master Duels does take a, a crazy long time. Uh, and I've been playing for many years, so it, it makes sense, right? Okay, so I have Elden Ring wise, right? Elden Ring, I have 250 hours, okay? And when this channel had a lot of gameplays of Elden Ring, you can even watch it. But Baldur's Gate, I have 674. <laughs> Compared to Elden Ring that I have full playlists of my entire gameplay and also modded gameplay and also challenges that I did within the game that's all amounted to 250 boulders gate i have probably four or five videos in total and it amounted to 600 <laughs> because i've been playing on my spare time so i basically finished the game multiple times sorry if i didn't finish the game within the video but you can watch my playthrough uh, it's gonna be somewhere okay but yeah let's let's keep on going Pardon this is crazy french but that's f crazy as yes as and i, I have to mute that has been an incredible game and it is very refreshing let's hire this squirrel might be the single most adorable creature you oh he played the dark urge yeah <laughs> do you always take on such terrifying foes no studio is more deserving of this kind of uh, praise than larian who has toy the thing is the dark urge it, it automatically just decides whether you would kick that squirrel or not so the score had no chance we're not reviewing the game today instead i want to focus on this small pocket of contrarians still holding out at helm's deep i want to talk about what does that this mean? ign video Baldur's gate 3 is causing some developers to panic and the video is it's pretty good Wait, is this IGN? Are you are you sure? Wait, what? It's filled Good. with great takes and actual insight and commentary into the game industry and not just giving away 9 out of 10 scores to every new release. Developers should be looking at what Baldur's Gate 3 did and trying to replicate where they can, not jumping up to defend games that are cramming in practices that fans are getting fed up with. He's right! But there's this sentiment oh. going around that Baldur's Gate 3 is... It's just an unreasonable standard for AAA studios to meet. So we're going to talk about that because, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, the companions in Baldur's Isn't there now like a, a quadruple A games? Well, not not really. There's like one or two, right? And they, uh, one was a pirate game and the other one was a non-existent. So clearly they suck. <laughs> thirst trap. Luckily for me, I can resist their temptations and quench my thirst with AirUp, the sponsor of today's video. Have you ever wanted to drink? My cousin actually bought these, by the way, uh, and we tried it. So I am actually probably the best person to actually say that if this ad is actually good or not. But I'm not going to say crap because like flavored. I'm reacting to this. Well, now you can. I don't uh, get in trouble. If I was doing that, that flavors oh water through scent alone. If you're someone who doesn't drink a lot of water during the day, you get a bit dehydrated or you're worried about now, artificial sweeteners and extra sugar. If I was the one the doing this review, for you, the I will tell you the truth, but it's not me. You can but yeah. I, I basically you flavor and push down if you want normal water. It's yeah. also great if you want to cut back on. The thing is, I will tell you this, right? It's not like a scam or anything, right? You can actually feel it. The, the water going through in and then you basically are able to taste something. But it's not your taste buns that are filling. It's weird. It's weird. I, I You have to try in order to actually see if it's actually suitable for you or not. But I drink a bunch of water either way. So uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I drink a bunch of water. So I have no absolutely no problems with that. But my cousin did have uh, that, that problem. Soda. So go order your special air up water bottle today using the link in the description and pinned comment. And don't forget to use the code ACTMAN to get 15% off your entire purchase. And exactly. And now use 50%. 
So naturally, as Baldur's Gate 3 was about to come out, we all wondered what the catch would be. Are there gonna be any dumb microtransactions? No. There are no in-game purchases in our game. We believe in providing okay. a complete and immersive gaming experience. With I played the game, so why am I saying okay? Of course I know this. Enjoy the game to its fullest without any additional costs or microtransactions. I don't believe it! <laughs> This can't be right. Is this is this the prince who was promised? Well, the game's got to be terrible then. What? <laughs> We've gotten to a point where it feels like in the AAA gaming space, like outside of Nintendo, the idea of video games uh, being complete at uh, is that just a one-time purchase. Is that what, what? What is that Fallout? Jesus Christ! The 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 last one that they made, which was online. This is it, right? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is the that Fallout which was falling out. Yeah, okay. That idea is almost extinct. Even games that are just supposed to be single player can be completely broken at release. Well, with ethics like this, Larry, <laughs> it's no wonder some game yes. devs don't want it to become the new standard. Nah, just just keep pounding those microtransactions in. Just keep, just keep shoveling that crap in there. You know what my first reaction is when a new game comes out? Where are the slot machines? How can I gamble more money? I, I think the industry deserves a game like Baldur's Gate 3, and we deserve a developer like Larian. Sometimes companies end up implementing anti-player design to then charge the players to make the game better, less tedious, or more customizable. Think about how yeah. Halo Infinite took away your ability to choose your own colors in order to sell that back to you. Like, like try to imagine Bald Wait, I cannot comprehend what he just said there removed color so that you could put it back but purchasing it is that that, that that that's a crazy sentence what's tedious or more customizable think about how halo infinite took away your ability to choose your own colors in order to sell that back to you now that's petty <laughs> that's petty what but let's go into this topic of uh baldur's gate 3 being so unbelievably good that that nobody else can make a game this good ever Please, please, please put some thought into it. Before. Just like Elden Ring. Like, look at Elden Ring. Elden Ring had no additional cost besides the actual game. And now there's an uh, DLC that is the size of Limgrave. And it's like you're, you're pretty much buying a game. Every single part of the, of, of the Elden Ring map is like you are playing a game. Like, each part is like a new game. The only transaction that the Elden Ring has is the DLC that is coming. No, am I wrong in, in saying that? There's no transactions in Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is, there, yeah, there is none because I don't remember buying anything besides the game, and I played the Elden Ring like a freaking crackhead. So you proclaim this is what AAA gaming should be moving forward. Six years and four hundred plus people with insane funding due to the IP having given BG3 a big boost. It's truly un. Did they really had that much funding? What funding? <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear larian didn't receive funding from wizards of the coast to use the dungeons and dragons ip quite the opposite they paid a licensing fee to use it there are like standards and practices they have what to funding with this ip so it's even more encumbering that's than actually just funny. making a new game based on an ip they already own which makes it even more impressive then he goes on to double down after being called out clearly funding wasn't the right choice of words here Replace mm. that with budget, knowing that an IP mm. with the legacy of this one is going to sell. What? This just per Wait, wait, are you just saying that it was because of the IP, so anything that the game did is just relevant? It flexes me. I, are you talking about the Dungeons and Dragons IP? Because most people associate that with the tabletop board games. Are you talking about the Baldur's Gate IP? Because the last game I heard about Baldur's Gate was Dark Alliance 2 in 2004. I reckon most people prior to this hadn't heard of Larian Studios and had never heard of Baldur's Gate before. What's yeah, also funny I didn't even know it existed. The situation in general is that people are proclaiming this isn't what AAA gaming should be. Yet another game recently came out that also... Okay, so if AAA gaming shouldn't be like this, then what category is Baldur's Gate? Quadruple A then? can topple it <laughs> uh, like what is the what is he trying to categorize boulders gate then because you can't say triple a game shouldn't be like this but you acknowledge that the game is good because you haven't said anything bad about the game so are you saying it's above that maybe it is also had six years of development uh, a team 22 times bigger than maybe Larian, because it's actually more than that made than a triple a game maybe that's why last year and yet I'm nobody sorry, is saying Did that you? game is creating an unrealistic standard why is that 
Why is that? If you have the tools, the people, the means, and the funding, then you should strive for greatness. I don't understand wh why people think otherwise. You know, <laughs> what, are, what are they actually thinking? Don't let this become the new standard because because we can't make games that good. I think it's pretty clear what the difference in Okay, then let's just categorize like Baldur's Gate Blizzard. quadruply. Blizzard like, wouldn't it be great if Bethesda held this standard to Fallout 76? Wouldn't that have been great? What are you trying to say? Stop complaining about AAA game developers that get away with releasing half-baked games? Just accept bad trends and, and practices amongst the industry? So it's like they're mad because this game is too good. Don't put us in the same bracket as this game. Yes, they, this game is good, but leave us alone because we are making also a good game. Well, you're not clearly, but well, in your head you are. Like you, majority of the times you're just basically making a game for for money purposes obviously you, you have to gain income somehow right because but if you were to release a full game with all of these microtransactions already in the game i believe a hundred percent you will get your money back people want more money and like a passive monetary value so it's like okay i just don't want this game to be paid and that's it right I want this game for people to sometimes purchase or just basically not purchase it, acquire downloading it and then keeping on playing because there's more monetary value from it. And it's like a passive income for them. So I understand the business standpoint in a gaming standpoint that that is that is trashy because the games are being trashy. Like the past few years, the only good games that I play in my life were Elden Ring, Boulder's Gate, Master Duels is also pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. There's a few. I'll I'll figure it out. Don't worry. The best rated PC game of all time not raise the standards. This is not a new baseline for RPGs. This is an anomaly. Trying to do so the should same we thing just the same put it as a quadruple A though? Advantages could kill an entire group of studios. What advantages? The advantage of talent, hard work, foresight, uncorrupted morals. These are things Larian has and all these other studios can easily attain. Baldur's Gate 3 is not an anomaly. It didn't just spring out of the ground. Lar this isn't Larian's first game. They've been making top-down RPGs for over 20 years. Baldur's Gate 3 is simply the culmination of all that work, of all well, they have been making for 20 an years and Baldur's Gate was the one on that they many, many nailed it. Baldur's Gate 3 they is the culmination say of a series or genre in the same way that Elden Ring and Smash Bros. Ultimate were. Original Sin 2, so much of the base work that was game already seems done fun. I, I could actually but play that one. Divinity Original Sin 2, Original one of Sin like 2. craziest advances is that apparently all of the scenes are have been mo-capped. Whereas in Original Sin 2, you just had to imagine what characters were doing. Foolhardy. People that cling to the old ways when, when something objectively better comes along, right? You could, you could probably say the same thing about Mario 64 when that came out and revolutionized 3D games and platformers. I'm sure uh, there was a bunch of people back then saying, well, well Mario 64 is an anomaly. I think you I played that game, actually. You can't expect other studios to be able to accomplish this. You can't apply this standard to other platformers. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. Here's the thing, right? Wouldn't a company or, or a person genuinely passionate about their craft that's the thing, like, he's gonna say what I'm thinking, which is automatically, me as a business owner, I would want to replicate what the actual best is actually doing, or at least try to do, or try to compete with it. Like, these guys are talking, talking like, I don't wanna compete with the best, or I don't wanna compete with nobody. I just wanna make money. That's what I'm thinking, what they're saying. Your outward words is saying, oh, this is too much. We, you cannot expect us to do the same thing as what are the greatest guys are doing. Only the developers are saying this. What are the company owners actually saying? Uh, probably the company owners are saying, okay, Baldur's Gate got millions or billions. So I want to replicate that. I do not care. <laughs> you guys will make this game. <laughs> I, I would say that. Like want you to have to basically. With Baldur's Gate? Competition breeds improvement. It exactly. Yeah. Products and we all win in the end. Complacency yes. seems to be what some. Well, of I don't know why they won't, don't want to like for, or at the try least, to do admitting that. Admitting they work for a studio that doesn't prioritize making good products as much as they should. I get I get what they're trying to say though, right? 
don't expect every quarterback to be as good as Tom Brady, but every quarterback should try to be as good as Tom Brady. I don't know a single yes. game dev who has conveyed this sentiment about just BG3 like every rapper, singer, great all of them achieved by this team as a weapon to use against other devs. Now, this is the actual argument I think some of them are trying to present, right? Remember how obnoxious the PlayStation fanboys would get when they compared every video game ever made to The Last of Us 2? Yeah, nobody should be doing that with Baldur's <laughs> Gate 3. The one or two devs they were quoting were talking True. about how you shouldn't be expecting every RPG studio to be making games on the scale of BG3 because not every studio has the time, effort, or... Ma that is also... That, that, to be fair, I do understand this one because you cannot just tell a studio or expect a studio to basically make uh, a world as vast as freaking Baldur's Gate 3. Like, that game has many hours of gameplay. We are just expecting the quality of the game. But now, to translate quality into Baldur's Gate form, like, let's say there's Baldur's Gate and we are trying to suck the quality of Baldur's Gate and put it into our game, how can we translate that into our game? Like, what is quality? So I, I believe that they are, what the heck is that profile picture? I don't know. Yes, but some studios do have the time and manpower. They just don't put in the effort. No Those big studios, they have no excuse what I'm saying right now. <laughs> what I, The thing that I'm saying right now, or that I said, Big studios don't apply, okay? They're like big studios Nobody can do whatever the heck they want. Johnny game developer and his two college dorm roommates uh, should make a hundred hour masterpiece RPG as their first game. Nobody's saying that. I don't think people That'd be are crazy. saying that BG3 <laughs> That'd be crazy. is the new standard, but rather it should raise everybody else's standards because a lot of other developers really fucking down in the ground, man. CD Projekt Red, Cyberpunk, fallout 76 bethesda this is why starfield has such high expectations behind it and why it will be such a disappointment if that game turns out to be a glitchy bug-ridden disaster so many of these that is other also companies true have because the there are already standards for the game and resources at their disposal at larian they just make yeah Bethesda, Bethesda so, is yeah, this is what triple I'm just gonna say, but Bethesda is uh, Bethesda is trolling, okay? Bethesda, Bethesda is trolling. Ever since they dropped Fallout Three, everything else is just even Fallout Three was a bit janky, but everything else is just absolutely trollish. Like the lag, even before Fallout Three, uh, the games were all laggy. It, like. Wait, those guys even made a game that literally worked 100% with no freaking glitches? I doubt that, <laughs> okay? I doubt that. So I don't even know. It wasn't even Fallout. It wasn't nothing. It, Skyrim, every single game that these guys put out was a freaking glitchy. So I don't know, brother. They are trolls. They are just trolls. Play studios should strive to achieve, and it's fine if they don't. But if they try, then they'll probably make a good RPG. Cyberpunk is a prime example of why everyone's standards should be higher. It's a wake-up call for a lot of these other developers. I haven't played I Cyberpunk, hope. though. Larian has had such an underdog story that, like, it's, it's so cathartic to see them succeed because 10 years ago, they were raising funds for Divinity Original Sin through a Kickstarter program. This is a studio that risked bankruptcy in the name of quality. So, at the end of the really? day, I think a lot of gamers have also woken up. As a business... I don't think that's a pretty smart thing to do, but... Baldur's Gate 3 is just an amazing game, and, and we should all be celebrating it. It is the prince who was promised, and hopefully it sends shockwaves across the industry. Should we compare every new RPG that comes out to Baldur's Gate 3? Probably not. But let's hope every new RPG in the AAA space tries to be as good. You know what? I actually want to see what is a quadruple A game compared to Elden Ring, because these guys are trolling.